This is your major work. Do not leave it to the night before. Do you hear me? Yes, Matt. I'm, I'm the ghost of time management and design. A ghost? It doesn't matter. I too found myself in Matthew Top's class. What a wonderful place. So I thought. Everyone, did you have a look? What that was that? I was going to tell you about your major... Well, look who decided to join us. Ladies and gentlemen, Jacob. Happy birthday to you. It's happy birthday to you. Why do you like this one? Happy oh, birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. I got time. I managed to piece together a portfolio, but I forgot two vital things. Two vital things. My time management plan and my design. Matt wrote to me. His words took the soul out of my flesh. And now I wander the earth alone, lost, and like with my low atar. Matt did it to you. Took your soul from your flesh. You don't know his dark secret, do you, Ryan? Why he hates the word like. His dark secret. You'll find out in due time. It's time for me to go. Where are you going? Wait, Jacob! Tell me his secret! Aslan? Aslan? Analysis? I remember it like it was just yesterday. Remember what? The day I got my multi assignment. Aslan, made your work. Now, you've not been doing this very well lately. So I want a top-notch analysis and evaluation, or God help you. Understand? The mistakes I made cannot be redeemed. What mistakes? Spelling, grammar, everything was a mistake. I couldn't even correlate my rec. What happens? I got wasted from that, and now I'm left without a body. Analysis and evaluation. What's that? That is not an analysis and evaluation. That is the word like. Do you think saying that word is funny? Did you not do your analysis and evaluation? How many times have I told you kids to do it? Now I'm left to analyze and evaluate everything till the end of time. Fine. Matt has a secret he will take to his way. What secret? Aslan. I too forgot something. I'll be safe. I know what I'm doing. Those were the words I believe. Now look at me. What did you forget? I remember it like it was yesterday. Um, Matt? Hmm. Here's my folio. Thanks, safe. Analysis, measures. Where's your WHS? What's WHS? Your WHS. If I was going to push you off the chair right now, what would you put in the folio about it? Um, w H S. Who are you? I'm the ghost of work, health, and safety. Ryan, he isn't who you think he is. Mark my words.
like Matthew Todd. Ryan, there's something I need to tell you. Something I haven't told the rest of the cohort. You're a secret. How did you hear about that? Your ex-students came to me. They told me that you had a dark secret. One day he would take you to grave. They were meant to take you to the grave. I haven't always been Matthew Todd. I have something to tell you. How well do you know your multi? Before you are seven questions, based on what you've learned in multi this year. Answer them correctly and I will tell you my dark secret. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. I'm expecting a band six. Why is analysis so important to your folio and project? Why is time management so important to your folio? And what does it show to a future employer if you have a good... How do you evaluate your project and how many times should you evaluate it? Why didn't I listen? Time plan, analysis, design. Wait. How do you evaluate your project and how many times should you evaluate it? Why is time management so important to your portfolio and what does it show to a future employer? Match you top. I haven't finished. I'm expecting band six answers for all of these. Let's see if you're paying attention. Why is time management so important? to your folio, and what does it show to a future employer if you have good time management? Let's have a look at your answer. Time management shows to a future employer that you can turn up on time. Always helpful for someone hiring in the industry. It also shows the HSC markers that you've allocated your time specifically to doing certain tasks that will then help with the completion of your project. Not a bad answer. WHS is important. What does it demonstrate to the HSC markers and employers in the industry? WHS can save lives. Every day we deal with life-threatening situations, whether that be crossing the road or whether that be getting into a car. You can die. So it is important to assess each and every situation. Anything more than, actually no, everything that includes running upstairs or more is considered a stunt and needs WHS research on it, including choreography because things can go wrong. It demonstrates to the HSC markers that you were safe in the process of creating this project. You saw potentially hazardous situations and overcame them in a professional manner. This shows to the potential employees that you will be a safe worker, cutting down on work risk and demonstrating careful forethought, creating an air of professionality around you. What does a well-designed folio demonstrate to HSC markers and to companies hiring in the industry? It shows a process of design, refinement and creation. It shows that you can manage all of your ideas and is a big collection of all your work you've done so far. Now, the folio is an extension of the project. So you have to design your folio to look similar or related to your original project. Whether that be using a different type of font, whether that be adjusting the colour schemes, it makes it look more professional. It shows the HSC markers that you've done an insight into your work and that it shows you know what you're doing. If you can make a folio which is just text look interesting, you've done the job right. What the hell is ICT and how are they used in the industry? ICT is the use of technology and communication to create polished products that are time and money efficient. ICT helps a wide spectrum and specific tools and tricks for business use. These include internet networks, email systems, and smart technologies such as your phones, your tablets, my MacBook, you know the drill. 
It is primarily used for speeding up the process of production using these different technologies. It helps the decision making process by the use of professional help with surveys and predictions. Communication is enhanced through the new and improved technology and record keeping. It allows us to keep track of all ongoing research and production. So basically, if we're behind in one sector of production, we can speed it up. If we're too far ahead, we can slow it down. If something's gone wrong, we'll know about it. That's ICT. Why is analysis so important to your folio and project? Analysis is defined as the detailed examination of data or information by breaking it into different components. It helps us examine every different piece of information individually and allows us for a more polished result. So if I did a project that had not been analysed by myself at all and I handed it in, it'd be absolutely dog's breakfast, be horrible. But if I analyse it every step of the way, every two or three weeks, I identify problems and I fix those problems. It creates more polished and you get a better mark. It helps us find errors and figure out solutions for them. So in your WHS, if you know you've got a problem, but you don't address it because you don't analyse it, you're going to lose marks when you hand it in. If you analyse it very often, you're going to pick up on these mistakes and you can fix them, giving you a better mark. Analyzing the folio allows you to create a more polished document by constantly nitpicking it and getting better results. Basically, pull a bonita, nitpick everything. I don't care if you're two spaces off, you make that one space. You fix everything. I don't want any grammatical errors in your folio. Research is vital to the project. Why? And how is it applicable to the real world? Research is a systematic way of gathering data and harnessing results. It is vital to the folio as it allows us to constantly find new ways to enhance our design. We can completely build a project based on research. You research every component you know is going into your folio and then you can create a more polished, refined work due to your extensive research. It's applicable to the real world because when you're being hired, people are gonna look for people that can research well. If you are hired as an animator, they're gonna to wanna to make sure you know how to research different types of animation styles and can adapt to what they want. It is good due to the specialization of research. You can specialize in different aspects of research. Yes, I can research folklore, I can research animating, I can research drawing, I can research film types, I can research camera angles. It's really important in the real world because due to the specialization of research, it can get you a job. How do you evaluate your project and how many times should you evaluate it? First off, you evaluate it at least three times. I think you should evaluate it every time you add something new into the project and the folio. Whether that be filming a new scene, whether that be adding in a measure of success, you evaluate yourself. Now in your evaluation, this includes your selection and justification of materials. Your selection and justification of materials includes why the product you chose is better than other products of the same or similar design. Why they enhance your project. Now an employer needs to know this because if you're asking him to buy a thousand dollar camera, he's going to ask why do I have to buy the thousand dollar camera as opposed to the five hundred dollar camera. You need to make sure that you can justify everything in it. Also your statement of intent. Basically, what you're doing, how you're going to do it, what your target audience is, what platforms you're going to be using it on, etc, etc. Simple stuff. Then there's your measures of success. Uh, these can be done during the use of surveys, using reviews, feedback, positive and negative. Don't forget negative feedback, because it can be constructive and can help you in future. And then there's your evaluation, your self-evaluation. This is saying how you think you could improve the project, what you're happy with, what you're not happy with, what definitely needs to be touched upon in future projects. That's basically how you evaluate your project. These answers are exceptional. You've earned the right to hear what no other ears have heard before. My secret. It all started the day I got my major project. Matthew Top. Here is your major assessment. Don't leave this project to the last minute like you have with others. I don't want this lacking a time plan, work health and safety, or even analysis. 
You understand me? Yes, Mr. Like. Good. Um, sir? Here you go. Look in here. What is this rubbish? You're missing work, health and safety, time plan, evaluation, analysis, a lot of it. You can't do that. Oh yes, I can. You know what? I've been here around. You've been wanting to be like Bill Gates, Mark Zuckerberg. Guess what? You'll never be like any of them. You'll even never be like your father, Steve Jobs. You're a failure. Get out of my class. Congratulations, Matthew Top. You just failed multimedia. That's my secret. I failed multimedia. That's why I'm so tough towards you. I don't want you to make the same mistakes that I made. I want you to pass multi. Will you pass multi for me? I will, Matt. Good. What are you doing sleeping in my class? Oh, sorry, Matt. I've got something for you. Your major project assessment. Don't let me down. <laughs>